Hi, this is Joe Gladyshevsky with Jeff Howe from InsideCollegeHockey.com here at the 2010 Frozen Four at Ford Field. Wednesday's preliminary activities have wrapped up. All the teams have had practices and are getting ready for tomorrow's national semifinals. Jeff, what did you see today from the teams that you liked and your impressions overall of this uh, venue? I, I love the venue. This building is it's beautiful, and I really I didn't have very high expectations for this event. It's been so successful in the last decade. You wondered why they really wanted to, to tinker with it and put it in, in a giant football stadium in the middle of Detroit. But, I mean, you look around and the way that they really banked the rink into the corner of the end zone there, cut off the field with the bleachers and the curtain to make it a cozier atmosphere than, than we originally believed we would have. I think they did a phenomenal job. It should be a really fun place to see a game, uh, or three games. And, Another impression today was just how loose RIT was. Those guys came in here and they had one liner after one liner led by goalie Jared DeMichael, who was throwing out more jokes than you could even you know, you could even catch up and write down them. So it, it was it was kind of a fun day, maybe a little looser than than probably a lot of teams that we've seen on this Wednesday frozen week. I agree, and I think I even got that impression from Miami and uh, Boston College and Wisconsin as well. Uh, sometimes these Wednesdays are a little tight, you know, it's getting close, they haven't played for nine or 10 days since the regionals, but the atmosphere in the building might have had something to do with that because it was such a nice, uh, it's such a different change of pace that people have to adjust and, and they've come in with good attitudes. The ice is a temporary surface. It's not the greatest right now. Um, NHL ice guru Jim Craig, or, um, Ice Guru. Ice Guru that's, is here. I'm sorry. Uh, he's on hand to monitor the, the ice and the playing conditions. The boards and glass are also a little temporary. You might see some funny bounces coming off of those. But uh, at the end of the day, it's still a championship level hockey. And I think both teams will be ready to um, to perform, or all, all four teams will be ready to perform. I, I do wonder about that ice, though, because Boston College comes in with a tremendous amount of speed. It's probably the fastest team in the tournament. Yeah. They're playing a team against uh, like Miami that is well disciplined and plays smart hockey. They might not be the biggest or fastest team, but they do everything right. And you wonder if a weird bounce or a, you know if the ice gets a little mushy out there, if that's going to slow Boston College down and maybe have a negative effect on them. And I think if it has any effect on any of those teams, it might take away from what the Eagles try to do. I would agree with that. Um, Miami was here last year at this venue and this not this venue particularly but but this event uh, I think that experience and being so close to capturing the national championship provides a lot of motivation um, but Boston College and Wisconsin have also won national championships in recent years so that may not as be as great of an advantage and as you mentioned at the top of this RIT's biggest strength is that they're coming with nothing to lose right they took the same attitude to Albany and they beat Denver and they beat New Hampshire so I think it's up in the air right now. It's anybody's tournament. Please stay with us all week at InsideCollegeHockey.com. We'll have plenty of coverage uh, from Ford Field, also All-American coverage, uh, previews, capsules. Uh, we'll have our live chat as always. And we look forward to uh, seeing great games this weekend and being here all week. For Jeff Howe, I'm Joe Gladyshevsky. Thank you for watching InsideCollegeHockey.com.